So now let's move to uh, Polycarp of Smyrna, who died in 155 AD, and he's brought forward as evidence of uh, early keep early practice of keeping relics of the saints and the martyrs in the church, and then exposing them annually for veneration. Okay, so I'm going to read from the martyrdom of Polycarp, chapter 18. It says, accordingly. We afterward took up his bones, and being more precious than the most exquisite jewels and more purified than gold, and deposited them in a fitting place, whither being gathered together as opportunity allowed us, with joy and rejoicing, the Lord shall grant us to celebrate the anniversary of his martyrdom, both in memory of those who have already finished their course and for the exercising and preparation of those yet to walk in their steps. Okay, so um, a man named Rod Bennett wrote a book called Four Witnesses, the Early Church in Her Own Words. And in that uh, in that book and in an interview called The Four Witnesses Brought Me Home, he refers to this incident of the martyrdom of Polycarp. The martyrdom of Polycarp is proof of early relic veneration in the church. And this is what he said. He said, this passage, that is the one we just read from the martyrdom of Polycarp, he says, this passage, penned in about A.D. 155, shows that the practice of keeping saints' days, in this case, the anniversary of the martyrdom of Polycarp, dates from the earliest years of Christianity. It would likewise appear from the passage being discussed that the remains or relics of those martyrs were also kept in the churches early on and played some part in these anniversary celebrations. Then later, when he was being interviewed about his book called The Four Witnesses, and the interview is called The Four Witnesses Brought Me Home, he continues and expounds on this a little bit and says, Polycarp was a disciple of St. John the Evangelist himself. And about that time, we can see in the records a feast of the martyrdom of Polycarp being celebrated, complete with the exposition of his relics. So this is Rod Bennett, former Protestant who converted to Roman Catholicism because he examined the evidence from the early church and concluded that they practiced relic veneration early in the life of the church. And he uses Polycarp as the example. Now, the, first off, the uh, I want to say that in the original, and, and I did look look up the Greek in this case, uh, the when a martyr died, it was considered his birthday because he had translated from this life to the next. And they actually use that word birthday. So they, they don't really call it the saint's day or the anniversary of his death. They call it his birthday. And so what Polycarp's disciples did is they said, let's gather the remains, put them somewhere, and let's gather annually to celebrate his birthday and encourage those of us who need to walk in his steps. We're still not at relic veneration yet, and, and in fact, I want to read from the Catholic Encyclopedia. Because remember, Rod Bennett concluded that in the early church, they kept relics in the churches and exposed them annually for veneration. Now, what Rod Bennett has done is try to make it look like it was the most normal thing in the history of the church as early as the second century for everybody to gather at the church and for them to get out the relics that were being kept there and expose them for veneration. But there is a huge historical problem with Bennett's assessment of the martyrdom of Polycarp. Even the, the Catholic Encyclopedia acknowledges that in Polycarp's day, regular Sunday services were not held in churches, but were held in private houses, not in church buildings. They said the regular Sunday services were held in private houses. They didn't have church buildings and they didn't have places, church buildings where they could keep relics, okay? And then further, when the Catholic Encyclopedia talks about martyrs, it says the anniversary commemoration services of the martyrs were held at the martyrs' tombs, okay? So what do we have from the Catholic Encyclopedia? They didn't have churches and the anniversary celebrations were held where they were buried, <laughs> okay? So my question to you is, what did Polycarp's disciples do with Polycarp's bones? <laughs> um, they buried them. 
They buried them. That's yeah. exactly right. And yes, yes, they would gather at the tombs and they would celebrate his birthday. And it's not like they were digging him and up every every year. That's exactly right. What I'm looking for, I'm not looking for respect for the dead. I'm not looking for respect for the memory of the dead. I'm not looking for people carrying bones back from Egypt to Israel. I'm not looking for people in a funeral procession carrying Stephen's body. What I'm looking for is incense and bowing and kneeling and kissing and burning candles before relics that have been dug up. Okay. We still don't have it. We have, all we have is an unbroken record of people burying the dead. What we don't have is relic veneration. That's why I wanted to start with the definition and explain the practice so we could look for the practice in the early church. And guess what we don't find in the early church? Digging up dead people and kissing them. Right. 